I'll now start with the metal ones. This one is uh, this one measures five and a quarter. It's made out of a grove no a book, sorry, a book um steel back tenon saw with the information on. And I've added a bit of my decoration on. It's skew mouth, bronze and steel, and incidentally, over these 12 years, the colour of the bronze has become absolutely gorgeous and go darker and darker as time goes by, which I absolutely love. Uh, and that's that one. Oh, and this is, um, what is it, Sarah Pepper? Pippi. Pippi. Pippi Boxwood. Good job Sarah can remember, because I can't. The next one is steel and bronze. Look at the colour of that. These colours really go together once they've aged, in my opinion, steel and bronze. And this one has got a bronze front, steel body, bronze sole, ebony infill. Very nice. Next one. This is a copy uh, of a Norris 11. To my knowledge, only one Norris 11 of this size has ever been found. I might be wrong, but I only know of one. And my mate found it years ago, and it fetched a hell of a price. It would have been steel. I have made in the past steel ones and bronze ones, but not, not many. Uh, it's dead accurate to the size. Uh, it has a cupid bow on the bottom of the bridge, but you can hardly see it. But that's how Norris did it. Um, and th this uh, bridge swivels on one pin. Not fixed. Uh, I love the proportions of this plane. In fact, this, I told the man when I parted with all these, and he reminded me, but I do remember saying it was all, that when I part exchanged them 12 years ago, I said, this is the one that I used to pick up to use every time. So that one has had, I said, they're all brand new and used, but of course I've tried them out. And look at the box again, the colour the, the color of the bronze. You can just start to see the dovetails when it ages. Stunning. Next one, a little bit bigger than the Norris type. This one measures six inches. Uh, all bronze. They're all dovetailed, of course. Uh, beautiful boxwood. Uh, Two-tone boxwood. That's unusual. What's, when I make my planes, as you probably remember, I submerge them in linseed. And obviously this, this part of the boxwood was more porous than the other and it, it uh, took on that colour, which is rather nice. On a different shaped bridge, uh, Cupid bow to what I normally do. Gorgeous plane. And the last one is the biggest of the metal planes. I think this one's seven inch. Yeah, seven inch. And that discoloration there and there is obviously it's got damp at some time, uh, but that's nothing. Yeah, I could erase it, but no point. I'd lose the patina. Bronze and steel. Steel uh, bridge and a steel front on this one. I don't do that very often, contrasting metals, but I have done it in the past. Gorgeous boxwood again. And there you go.